Okay, sun's out. Whoa! Yo, that's my... That's my bus. Yo, my bus is literally rolling down the street and I can't find my key. Come on! Dude. He's literally driving the bus into here. That's my bus. Oh, and it's running great. Oh my god. I'm so happy. I'm so happy I was here to see this. Bye, bus. Oh. I mean, he's driving it. He's, he's driving it. That means it's good. He's driving it. So it's done. Oh, they're going to call me any second now. <laughs> That's great. That is great news. Why is every single light in this town broken? Dude, I just saw my own bus. That means they're going to call me in like 15 minutes. They're going to be like, it's all good, man. Come on in. Bring us that $3,800. And you're good. Remember when you sold everything you owned and you thought you had all this fun money for diesel? And for, come on, go faster, go faster, go faster, go faster, go faster, go faster. You remember? You remember when you sold every single thing you owned, right? And you had a bunch of money and you even and you even bragged about it in a YouTube video? And you counted it in a YouTube video, remember that, Dylan? And then you bought a bunch of dumb shit, like a fucking drone and a hard drive, you know? Things that definitely benefit the channel but are still very expensive. And then you got that $100 hand job from that massage parlor that's really stupid got $130 shoes sure wish I didn't buy those sure wish I didn't buy those oh they're gonna call me any second and I'm gonna just have my bus back and then I'm gonna go to that church, I'm gonna steal their whiteboards, and then I'm gonna go to Eric's house, I'm gonna load up my bikes. Then, I got no clue what I'm gonna do. Save money, I guess. I caught my own bus. Dri oh, driving around in the wild. These signs, look, the signs try to pull you over. Uh, pull over! Hey, pull over! Yeah, no, th no. I'm resisting arrest from that sign. Is that a Sir Ron? Yes, it is. This is Sir Ronald IV. Dragon Slayer. Man. People love the Suron out here. Too bad it's hard to get now. And it's overpriced now. Should have bought one when I told you to buy one. November 2021. LA Fitness. I wonder if we could go in there with our Anytime Pass and be like, um, it's not working. Can you help me? It's not working. Oh yeah, sorry. Sometimes they don't work. Oh, thank you. Where's your showers? Hello? Hmm. Oh yes. Stater. Never heard of Stater Brothers in my entire life and there's three of them in this town. Horsetown, USA.
Oh, I can't wait to get my bus back. It's gonna, the turbo is gonna go. And my wallet's gonna be like. And then I'm gonna be like. Uh, hey, what up, you heads? Blah blah blah. Really need, really need, really need you right now. Really need your support. Uh, Patreons really could help. Please, please. I'm sorry. I was bragging about money, and then I'll be praying. I'm not a religious man, but I would just be praying to come up 380 or whatever the whatever this is gonna cost. 3800 at least. I'm just bitching. I did all I could. I did all I could with my mechanical knowledge and my YouTube university knowledge, and I still brought it in. So. I can only be mad at myself. Okay, let's park our bike where everybody can look at it, we, where we can see it, and where we can see people seeing it. I think right here might be a good spot. Okay, now we're full. And actually, we did have one coffee already. But now we're going to go to Starbucks. <clears throat> now we're going to go to Starbucks and get a real coffee and sit here all day. Until they call us. Okay. Thought I unlocked that. We just received some very good news. Some very, very good news. Um, also, oh, the good news. We just received some good news, and that is that our bus is done and it's 2800 something Tw who cares way less than i thought one day later than i thought 2800 i can live with that i can live with that oh i'm so happy and smelly just kidding i showered at eric's house last night for reference this is day 28 of bus life but it's day four of homeless life. Actually homeless. Yo, you're a knee-head, but you're slow. Uh, shaka bra, bro. I mean, I was giving you the shaka bra. Don't care? Okay. If, for reference, I just chilled in that Starbucks for four hours, and I edited the video of me going to the open space area in Mendocino Heights and that guy litters the guy throws a empty 40 bottle I just like to tell you guys that stuff so you so you realize how hard of working of a youtuber I am and how I'm not just sitting at my desk anymore with unlimited uh, internet and uh, actually I do have unlimited inter internet when I'm at Starbucks but, not unlimited comfort. And by the way, I'm not the only one not doing that. <laughs> there is a lot of people that hang out at Starbucks and work. So it's not even that weird of a look. But you probably, but you know, you do gotta get something. You do gotta be a customer. I'll buy a $6 coffee. For, you know, a full day of, uh, office space you know what I mean and the coffee's delicious but yeah really thought this mechanic was trying to fuck me does not have a single negative review on Google Maps I mean Google 
and uh, he's charging me 28 sure I did just ask him change the map sensor please how much to change a map sensor but we don't got to get into that unless you're a diesel guy and you own the 7.3 power stroke turbo diesel and you've had this exact problem we're going uh, to actually meet up with Eric Eric has a storage unit which is right by uh, I mean you gotta do this every time you see it obviously um, Eric has a storage unit that just happens to be right by my mechanic Is that a dumbass shortcut? Oh, I'm so happy. We sold everything we owned. I sold everything I owned and it was like $3,200 and a bunch of 20s. I didn't keep exact count. I didn't keep total track. But it was a lot. And I thought that, I mean, we broke even. We basically broke even, and we still have enough money for the drone and the hard drive. Hearse life. Does anyone do hearse life? In my backpack, I have my MacBook Air exporting. I'm literally working right now. Oh, got it. All right, now where do I go? Whoa, you got a fucking Pac-Man machine, bro? How have we been friends for this long? You didn't tell me you have a Pac-Man machine. That's something you tell your friend right away. <laughs> Secret. It's a hidden gem. Bro, this is like an episode of Storage Wars. Oh, you have a Pac-Man machine. Got an intake for sale. Got an intake for sale. Anybody wants an intake for sale? 17 inch dirt tires. Oh, are you, are you selling everything you own too so you can live in your tiny house? Yeah, kind of. Oh, good. Good, you're going the right direction. Wait, what size are those? 17 inch, so they'll fit the oh. uh, street tires, the uh, super motor Yeah, not. Nah, I like the 19s. Yeah. I want to do a 21 in the front, actually. Yeah, oh, man, that sucks seeing the snowboard go into storage. But it's that, it's that time of year. Summer. Yeah. Bro, let me get one game of Pac-Man in. Oh, it's Mrs. Pac-Man, because you're not sexist. <laughs> Women can be Pac-Man, too. <laughs> Got me and Galaga? Wait, it's both in yeah. the same. What the dude? This thing's probably worth thirty grand. Put, put a coin in, man. <laughs> oh, you're talking about tangible money. I don't have that. <laughs> I only have uh, digital money. Not a bitcoin. <laughs> no, I can't put a, a one fourth of a Doge in there. Later, guys. All right. Mandatory chill sesh with the homies. Now we get to go pick up our bus, which just happens to be right here. Woo, I'm in a good mood, guys. I'm in a good mood again. It was I was not feeling too happy for a good a good while there. Tesla stock is down a tiny little bit, but that just means that just means time to buy. Hey, the hood's open. That just means time to buy more. All right, let's talk to our friends here at McCarthy. How we doing, man? My, minor issue, but we're getting it taken care of right now. Yeah. One of the lines got pinched. And it just literally started spinning power steering fluid right now. We're going to get that fixed for you right now. I'm okay. not going to charge anything additional for it because that was our mistake. Uh, that's, that's fine, man. So if you want to hang out in the office, that's fine. If you want to go somewhere air-conditioned, you can go sit in Del Taco for a little bit. Uh, and okay. I'll just call you when it's done.
for today for sure. Oh yeah, absolutely. I'm gonna have okay. to if we gotta stay late, we're gonna stay late. Okay, thank you so much, man. Can I Sound pay? Good? Can I pay you now? Sure can. Just so, uh, yes, sir. This little box uh -huh. um, that we took off the back exhaust system. Remember what I was telling you about? Yeah. So when he gets all done with it, I'll show you. There's a little valve about this big around. We pulled off to get a little bit extra exhaust out, uh -huh. and then there's a clamp that goes around the exhaust, and that's why we're able to get as much boost as we are now. Oh, okay. Is because that exhaust is plugged up, and I'll show it to you. It's, it's safe and everything like that, so you can run it, so it's good. So now it's a speed demon. Yeah. <laughs> now it's the seven threes were never speed demons, by the way. <laughs> no. Um, they do charge uh, about three point eight four percent on the car too, and I doubt you can probably take that much money out at once. So you're saying I should go after cash? Four percent's four percent. Yeah. Ooh, that sounds good. Ooh, that sounds good. Oh, oh great. Okay. Minor issue. They, they said that they bent a power steering line. And there's and there's power steering fluid. Oh, I see that bus everywhere. Beautiful. Riverside Transit Agency. Woo! Good paint job. I want a paint job like that. Um, they admitted to me that they accidentally bent a power steering fluid line, and they're replacing it now. And they're all yelling at each other. But he's not going to charge me nothing else. But then he said that his credit card is a 3.84 fee. We got, a, we got just minor little things to bitch about. Let's find a good spot. Let's find a good spot to bitch about this. Look at this. We're going to come right over here. We're going to come right over here. We're going to park next to our supermoto, homie. And we're gonna talk about this bill here real quick. The only thing I don't like about this. Scan and boost. Scan and diagnostic. No, no boost. $375. When that's what I said is wrong with it. I came in there. I said, I scanned it. And I got a code that said, no boost detected. I told them that before I gave them anything. They're charging me $375 for information I already knew. Remove and replace turbo stand. Test turbo. Turbo is working properly. Exhaust is plugged at back of bus. $600. Turbo stand cost $825 removed and replaced hydro boost for brakes I did ask them to do that 525 that sounds fine rebuilt hydro boost they rebuilt it what does that mean you put a new o-ring on it power steering fluid $20 is this gonna scrape my bar Oh, the vibes are back. The vibes are back. The vibes are back. Click that like button cause the vibes are back. Okay, now we're gonna have a... We're gonna have a fast bus. Guys, our bus is gonna sound... Fast, reliable bus. That will start every time. And then Tesla stock is going to go through the roof in just a, just a month or two. Just a month or two. God, I literally had the I literally had the cash. I had the cash in my hand and I said, "Nah, bank." Nah. No, it's not that hard to go to the bank and get cash, but isn't that funny? Isn't that funny that I was just so sure that I would not need 3 grand cash? 
Then I just went and put it in the freaking bank. Oh, hey, can I have that back? Yeah. Why? Of course. I could see myself living in this town. I could live in a town like this. I did live in a town like this when I was much younger. Pull over. Pull over. Hey, pull over. Yeah, chase me. Come chase me, sign. 29 big ones. That's the price of my first e-bike. That's the price of modifying your Suron. The, oh, wow. Wow, wow, look at the junk. Wow, all trash. The trash is even good out here. No, this is toys. Toy trash. Oh, no, no. Nope. Baby. Olympia duffel bag. Bro, this duffel bag looks like a... Uh... Bro, this duffel bag's mine. What is that? Oh my god, that's like a little animal cage. My mom would freak out. Oh my god. My mom would freak out if she knew that there was two animal... In a bird cage. Oh wow. I honestly have to take a photo of this. Just so my mom knows what California is like. The owner of the trash was very near. The owner of the trash was like, oh, there's a weird guy on a weird uh, vehicle I've never seen before looking through my daughter's things. He probably lives in a bus and hasn't shaved in a while. Head northeast on thoroughbred lane toward Locksville. Thoroughbred lane. Turn right on horse road. Then turn onto thoroughbred lane. Then turn on to Clon uh, Clydesdale Place. Head east toward El Paso Drive. What day is it? What hour is it? Oh, they gotta be open. They gotta be open and they gotta have amazing customer service. And they gotta have, a, they, get, they gotta keep their Suron questions to a minimum. Destination is on the left. Ooh. Oh, cool bike. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta somehow figure out how to put a motor on it. So. Oh yeah, dude, that thing could haul ass. Okay, we got our cash. We canceled out our chores. We canceled out our taking their cash to the bank chore by going back and taking it out. We actually, that was actually the least efficient thing we could have done. But vibes are high, vibes are high. woman literally grabbed the bag I said I was going to grab. Pull over! Hey, slow down! Pull over! Those well, signs are not going to make me pull over. Ever. Uh, that woman that woman has a good trash sense because she grabbed the same duffel bag I was going to grab even though I have a perfectly good duffel bag that I use for nothing except for holding my knee pads and elbow pads that I use the one time of year I go and race my Super 73. Everybody has lots of trash. We all make a lot of trash. And some of us, some of us, when we are done drinking a 40, we just throw it because there's already a bunch of trash. I, I'm not gonna make it much worse there's already a bunch of trash. <laughs> I'll just throw it over here with a bunch of the rest of the trash. Yeah, and then you complain about living in a filth hole. I complained about living in a filth hole, but I wasn't littering. People straight up be waving at you out here. People straight, no, no, just strangers. Strangers just be like, oh, hi. Oh, uh, hello. You guys like my vlogs? You guys like when I just dr drive around and talk to myself and get mad and then get happy? Do you guys like the uh, roller coaster? Hello. Hello, guy. Do, do you like the, the roller coaster of emotions? I try. 
I try to make good content. Uh, you know what I'm gonna do? Wander around the dollar store. I'm gonna wander around the dollar store for a while. Hey, it's you again. <laughs> that's, that's amazing. That's yeah. Unique. That is the best one I've ever seen. Uh, Small town. Nice to meet you. <laughs> I gotta write, you know, I'm glad I saw you because I need to write that name down. Oh, Sir Ron, it is right here. Yeah. <laughs> God, this is amazing. I'm glad you're here. <laughs> this is amazing. What are the odds? <laughs> Sir Ron. I mean, oh, God. That's interesting. And you said, uh, look, El Segundo. Yeah. You bought it in El Segundo. Yeah, that's like the only place in America you can get them. Oh, really? Yeah. Huh, um, you think there'd be other dealerships, you know? You, you would think. There should be. There should be. I think maybe there might be a some. There's some. But. And that's the battery? Yeah, that's the battery. It's fucking huge, dude. Yeah, that's massive. Yeah, look, cause it's got a little breaker. You can hit the breaker and you can unplug all this. Yeah. Take it out, charge it inside, leave the bike outside. The 110? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah wow, just charge it. Yep, unbelievable. I know. Um, you can look up. You can look up the Segway X260. The it's the, the se Segway X260. It's the same bike. Yeah. It's a. It's a little more expensive, and the uh, and the only thing that makes it better is it has like an app. It has an app. It has an app. I don't even know what you can do with the app, but this is the this is the better one to buy. The Suron is better so. to buy, yeah. but might be harder to get. Right. But they're great. They're awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Have a good day. Right, thanks a lot, good seeing you again. Fate. I honestly don't know what to do now, guys. I'm going to go find some grass and just go look at my phone for a while. I think that's just bus, that's bus life. That's bus life. I'm going to find some grass. I'm going to sit for a while. Look at Instagram. And wait for this bus guy to call me. I can't believe we ran into that Suron fan again. I really hope that guy buys a Suron. Explain to me why living in a city is better than living out here with the horses and the Jeep Wranglers and the lifted Silverados. We're gonna go straight in this way. Oh, perf! This is perfect! There's a, a father over there playing with his child. I feel like I should maybe, you know, go fuck off over here and not just be a weird bus person over there, over there you know? No, we gotta get to the top of this hill. Uh, this is a great bus life spot. Whoa! Do these... Uh, Yo, uh, where the bathroom's at, dog? Oh my god. Oh my god. There's bathrooms right there. And there's parking with no signs. Oh Lord, oh Lord. Let me get a sip of water, I'm so excited. This is chores, this is, this is chores. I hope you enjoy doing chores in your Honda CRV. I really do, I really hope that that gives you the same amount of joy that this gives me. Horsetown, USA! <sighs> Let me edit another vlog or something while I'm up here waiting. Mark my words, the future of loophole culture, there will be horses. We will vlog from a horse one day we've already vlogged from cheap chinese motorcycles 400 cc dirt bikes 
um, a weird roller coaster sled at Big Bear. What else? What else have we vlogged on? We can vlog on anything. We can vlog with our feet. We can vlog on foot. Horse, man. Horse is a loophole I never even thought about. Um, a lot of people, I mean, this is a stereotype, but there are a lot of, uh, there are a lot of people that discovered e-bikes after getting their, you know, 24th DWI and got their license taken away. If you're one of those people, save a horse, ride a cowboy, become a cowboy. I saw two teenage girls open the door for a cowboy, just, just, just some guy with a cowboy hat on. Oh, let me get the door for you, cowboy. Become a cowboy. Get an e-bike or get a horse, whichever is less, whichever costs less to purchase and maintain. Man, that would suck to have to take your horse into the horse mechanic, AKA the veterinarian. And the veterinarian's like, uh, yeah, spleen is shot. And then you're like, well, I ran a diagnostic. I, I horse whispered, I horse whispered, and um, I, I really think it's just a, just a sensor. I really think it's just a little sensor. No, no, it's, uh, it's the liver. Liver shot, whole, whole digestive system shot. You're gonna need a, a whole renew, a new one. We do it all the time. It's going to cost uh, 2700 out the door. We're going to have it done by Thursday. <sighs> but I live in my horse. Yeah, I don't know what to tell you, man. I'm really sorry. No no worries. Man, all the hobo spots be getting taken up, up in these parts. Desert bums are like way different. Desert bums are like every person that is in Venice. Imagine anyone you've ever met that in Venice Beach. That's what um, that's what desert bums are like. We're gonna just I don't know waste some more time here. I don't know. Ouch! Shin again. Ah, I should just wear shin guards, just permanently. Is that a thing? Is there an underwear brand that has uh, shin guards built in? It's almost six o'clock. This mechanic told me that he was going to stay all night if I have to. Oh yeah, absolutely. I'm gonna have okay. to, if we gotta stay late, we're gonna stay late. He's telling me to go hang out at Del Taco, and you know what? I think I gotta go hang out at Del Taco. Keep the van, keep the bus, make it, you know, you, you made a mistake that's really cool that you're fixing it and you're not just like lying and uh, you know charging the customer more I don't give a fuck how long you have it I gotta sleep in it I'm sleeping in my bus tonight and so is the Saran no matter what mark my words and maybe a baby horse maybe I, maybe I go and buy a baby horse cause you know Horsetown, USA. All right, it's six o'clock. He said he was gonna stay there all night if he had to. And the Mexicans were yelling at each other and they were saying, you know, it's not my fault. That's not a good sign, but I just wanna sleep in the thing. I just wanna sleep in the bus tonight. Hey, what do you guys think? Smart car or Fiat 500E? Yeah, just go hang out at Del Taco. You can go sit in Del Taco for a little bit. I was going to anyways, dude. We hung out at Del, uh, Del Taco like we were uh, instructed to do. We texted our mechanic friend and he said that he has to order some O-rings. They won't be there till 3 p.m. But I can stay in it tonight. I could sleep in my bus tonight. How's everything look back here? Yep, crappy like I left it. To be continued, save a dinosaur, ride an e-bike, 
Find a trustworthy mechanic. Peace. Peace.